gives me great pleasure to once again present the Red Coleman Service to Industry Award. This year's award recipient is a relatively newcomer to the industry. However, his contributions have been significant. I am, of course, talking about MTA past president Bernie Dreger. Bernie joined the MTA Board of Directors in 2012 and became president of the board at the 2020 Annual General Meeting. Bernie's time as MTA president was marked by a global pandemic, constant regulatory shifts, climate change related issues that seriously affected the infrastructure across the nation, massive protests, and a major evolution in the workplace. In 1998, Bernie had the opportunity to buy a local cartage company with five small trucks and the journey began. The company currently has a fleet of over 100 trucks and 150 trailers and boasts a complete network of transportation support services. He has held every position except CFO and payroll administrator, which his wife Liz did from day one, and in Bernie's words, that's the main reason we're on a solid footing today. It is my pleasure to present the 2022 MTA Red Coleman Service to Industry Award to Bernie Dreger. Bernie and I met in high school, and then we got married straight out of high school, which always takes people off guard. They, you know, they're always freaked out about that. Um, but it was it was a number of years before we got into the trucking industry. When Bernie was growing up, he wanted to be either a farmer or a truck driver. The farming thing didn't work out, and. Uh, and he very quickly caught on to the truck driving and uh, he was an owner operator for 10 years before we bought Portage Transport. The girls uh, got the opportunity to see a lot of uh, um, the US and Canada that they maybe wouldn't normally have uh, have been able to see. So and we ate at every McDonald's on the way. <laughs> yes, yeah, so those those trips are burned in their memory too. It was always so exciting as a little, like as a little girl, being able to just be in that passenger seat and feeling like you're your dad's co-pilot. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah that one-on-one -on -one time at home wasn't the same as what a lot of other kids have. But how many kids get a chance to be away for a week with their dad on the road? It was definitely a definitely fond memory. I always was bugging Bernie to join the MTA. And it took a, a few years for that to happen, but uh, eventually Bernie did bite in and uh, you know, he ended up being the president. Bernie brings uh, calmness. Um, you know, we never see him getting too high or too low. He's very even keeled. Um, he brings uh, good perspective from a, you know, a rural carrier, um, the long haul operation that he runs. I mean, Bernie, uh, you could get a hold of him 24 seven if you need and uh, just a hard worker, Bernie is. And I think that's his philosophy uh, to where he got today. Bernie uh, had a challenging time uh, navigating the industry and the MTA through the pandemic, no question. Uh, I think he did a fantastic job. During the pandemic, I think everyone took on extra stress, um, but I mean, Bernie had it at the family level. He then had it at the level of business owner. And then he also felt this huge responsibility to the industry. Um, so I think some days that sat a little heavy on him, but Bernie took it in his normal calm demeanor that he tackles every project that he comes across with. He felt a responsibility not only to the supply chain, but also for the safety of the drivers and that their rights were being considered, that they were being protected and that they were doing their jobs as best as they still could during this very hard time. He understands the hardship on the road when you can't find a suitable bathroom to use, when there's nowhere to stop to eat. Like, he understands that at their level. So I don't think, even as he's climbed up through the industry, he's never forgotten the core basics of what it means to be a truck driver. Mm -hmm. and that passion, like that's where his passion is fueled from, is making sure that everybody in the industry is looked after. Bernie is the limit. If there's something to be done, Bernie's the one to do it. And that's just the highest compliment. Congratulations on the Service of Industry Award. Um, I must say also you have a, a super wife uh, because she is uh, behind you all the way in this and uh, I'm sure this is something you can share with her. Uh, Liz, it's also a pleasure of working with you for so many years as, as I have. Congratulations to you both. 
Thank you very much for everything you've done to help me and the industry and the MTA. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dad. Congratulations, Bernie. You really worked hard and you deserve this award.